Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time of day or night or whatever you're watching this. Today I'm back with another video, we can tell that and we already know what this video is from the title but isn't that kind of weird though actually like every YouTuber when they film a video they start off the video by saying what they're filming but you already know because you've seen it in the title but anyway today it's going to be a Halloween related video even though I'm not wearing something Halloween related because I just didn't really have anything so just got a top with some boys on it. Um, today is a Halloween outfit ideas video but I've also got a few um, Halloween outfits from Pretty Little Thing so I thought I'd do it as like a testing and reviewing those outfits as well as some Halloween outfit ideas if that makes sense. You'll see what I mean as the video goes on if that doesn't make sense already. But yeah it's a Halloween video today and I'm excited. I actually love Halloween because I love fancy dress so much. I wish uh, I wish fancy dress parties happen more because I live fancy dress. I'm so excited for my Halloween outfit. I'm not including what I'm wearing this Halloween in this video because I just kind of want to keep it as a surprise. Not as a surprise. I don't want to make it sound really like whoa but I just want to keep it a secret for now. Anyway it's a Halloween outfit ideas video today and I'm just going to get on with it. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram because my Halloween outfit this year I probably will post my Instagram so make sure you follow me over on there. Without me blabbering I'm just going to get on with the video. So first off the first outfit I've already dropped one thing on the floor. The first outfit is in inspired by Miss Emma Chamberlain. She wore this last year and it was actually a strong contender of my Halloween outfit for this year but I've ended up going with something else. But I still love this. So first off we have this red cape. It's got a little hood. To be honest this is a very versatile thing for Halloween. You could buy it this year, go as what I'm about to say and then next year go as a little red riding hood with this. Do you know what I mean? Like it is so so versatile. But for this one the outfit I'm talking about is cats in underpants which I don't know about you but I used to like was it a book or a comic or something? I think I used to read it when I was younger, basically. I don't know if I'm going to be the only one, though, because I do have two older brothers, so maybe if you were, like, a sister's sort of family, I don't know if you would know what Captain Underpants is. But anyway, I do, and I absolutely love it. So, um, I've just got the cape. I also, oh my goodness, I've just realised you can see my little shorts. I couldn't find my Nike Pros in the airing cupboard, so I've had to put on these pyjama shorts that I've literally had since I was about 10, um, and they've got little roller skates on them. So just ignore that. I thought it'd be better than, you know, flashing other things. So you're going to just wear the cape. Oh no, I'm dropping it. We're going to wear the cape like this. I did forget to get the next thing out the drawer. So I'm just going to have to talk about it. Um, basically, Calvin Klein bralette or just like, actually, do you know what? You can kind of wear any bralette. You know, like the Primark £5 sets. Get one of those bralettes in either like red or white or like nude sort of skin colour. Because obviously Captain Underpants is like nude on the top but I personally wouldn't recommend that if you're going out wearing this so maybe like a nude coloured bralette just to kind of make it look like skin and then on the bottom half I have these these are from Pretty Little Thing they're just like some boxer style shorts quite a lot of girls probably already have these in their wardrobe anyway because they're quite a popular kind of short to wear around the house and stuff anyway so to be honest you might already have most of this stuff and all you need to buy is this cape which I think was less than £10 so it's quite a cheap outfit and I feel like it's also quite a comfy one because these are super stretchy but equally you could just buy like a pair of white Calvin Klein like boxers and wear them because that's what Emma did and it and it looked really good. Chuck on a pair of Air Force or just some sort of white trainers and you're good to go and I do love this outfit. Like I said I was kind of tempted to wear it this year but I've gone with something else but this I do still love. It holds a place in my heart for some reason that I can't I can't work out but it does. Next up we will go for a pretty little thing outfit. This is a little vinyl pink bodysuit as you can see and all this stuff I'm about to show you does come as a set. It's like one of the pretty little thing Halloween costumes. So with it, ow, 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 I've just dropped a lightsaber on my foot. Oh my god that really hurt. Spoiler alert, that is coming up. But anyway, it comes with this which is just like, I can't remember what this is actually. I think this is a headband. Let me just get out of the package but you get this basically and then these two oh my god this is so noisy i now remember what it is these are like little oh okay what i'm actually so confused so you've got like two little wrist warmers right i haven't told you what the outfit is this one is like um a kind of like 90s fitness kind of coach type thing and i'm loving it so you have these little blue wrist warmers a headband and then there's also something else ah this is a belt i now remember so you have the belt two little wrist warmers and then the headband the little set and then this is just a pair of knee high socks and i absolutely love this outfit however not sure how like nicely this is going to fit because it just looks a little bit cheaply made but then again 
I do feel like most Halloween costumes are kind of cheaply made and you are only wearing them for one night. So you can kind of get away with it. This one I got in a size small though and I'm a five... Um, what am I going on about? I'm five at five and I'm a size six for reference. Um, and I absolutely love this. I just think this is so cool. Definitely, again, something I would probably wear this Halloween, but I've got... I'm going to say it again. I keep saying this. I've got other plans of what I'm wearing. The bodysuit itself actually fits pretty well and it's kind of flattering, to be honest. However... The back is now kind of like a thong back. The way that it just kind of fits on makes it a thong back. So just bear that in mind if you wanted to wear this out that a lot of your bum is basically going to be on show. The belt, however, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm going to be like hula hooping with this or something. That was a really bad hula hoop. Um, but yeah, this is giant. Like, I don't really know what's going on here. And then I've tried like folding it round like twice but then it doesn't fit properly, it's a bit too small and it looks a bit weird. But I've got the arm things on, they fit alright, and then the headband I haven't put on just because I don't want to get makeup all over it, but I'd suggest putting like a ponytail on the headband, and then you've obviously got the white high socks to go with it, put on some Air Force. I think it could be quite a good outfit because this does fit quite nicely, but you might want to put a pair of tights on or something just because how much of the behind is on show. And then similarly, actually, oh, that's another sneak peek. Um, carrying on from that, I then have, oh, I'm, oh, I just dropped everything. Everything has just fallen on the floor. Anyway, carrying on, a kind of similar sort of idea is you know Barbie from Toy Story 4 the, was it Toy Story 4 or was it Toy Story 3 I think it's Toy Story 3 yeah it's the one with lots of in um Barbie and Toy Story 3 I was very very tempted to wear that outfit this year because I've got brunette hair I just wasn't sure it was going to look as good as if I had blonde hair and I was not willing to bleach it so I've decided against it but I thought I'd still mention it so I was wanting like a vinyl blue like baby blue jumpsuit because that's what barbie wears um but i couldn't find one anywhere and i know you obviously can buy the outfit from a halloween costume shop or whatever but personally for halloween i like to buy stuff and put the costume together i don't know why i just feel like it looks better because you're getting better quality clothes does that make sense i'm not sure so anyway the best i could find on the high street for this outfit was this little set from zara which i also think is quite a good idea because then you can still wear this after halloween because it's not meant for halloween does that make sense so you're not just buying something that you're only going to wear one time um this is actually from the zara limits contour collection and as you can see it's this blue little set so this is the top let me just chuck that there so it looks like this apologies for reggie barking bear with let me just sort that out anyway as i was saying it's like this little top but it's got like a little hole kind of circle cut out on the side to be honest i just wanted a plain blue set but this is like i said the best that i could find um it's just got this kind of like ribbing detail and then the leggings are just like these plain blue well not plain blue but yeah kind of like plain blue just ribbed leggings and i thought it would kind of work it's also so comfy like we all know how much i love zara limitless contour collection because my voice just went then um because it's soft and it's stretchy and it's just so comfortable and then to go with this tie your hair up in a ponytail wear like a pink headband or something and then barbie does have these like striped knee high sort of socks like well leg warmer type things which i haven't ordered but you could definitely get some off amazon i'll leave links to all the components of the outfits down below and then you're done i'll uh, do you know what i mean talking about barbie from toy story 3 again i love the outfit especially if you're blonde i think it'll look lovely and also this is going to be not like super warm but you're going to be fairly warm because most of you is covered up and before i forget i am just going to quickly mention a few outfits that i've seen that i haven't got but i think would be really good outfits so there's a few on fashion nova if you just want to go online somewhere and just buy an outfit and not have to search for all the components everywhere fashion nova have like the best halloween outfits i think i've ever seen they've got really cool like toy story ones they've got one of like can't think who it is but it says like do you want to play and that looks really cool um i'm trying to think what other ones on there i saw that i liked oh my goodness they have like i've just remembered they have some like delivery driver ones on there like dpd kind of vibes which i think is so random but i also kind of love that like firefighters things like that there are so many cool outfits on there and i just think oh my necklace is um tucked in um i think that they look so nice and they're so like sexy almost i feel like you're gonna look really nice in them so definitely have a look on fashion nova if you haven't already and also the day that i'm filming this oh polly are releasing a halloween collection so also go over there and have a look i did see on their instagram they have some really cool ideas of like a black vinyl bodysuit and then like 
can't remember how they oh with like this rabbit mask on and then also just like a plain white bodysuit buy a big giant pair of white feathered angel wings and then wear like knee high white socks and some heels or whatever i am kind of loving the look of just wearing a bodysuit this year for halloween i think it looks so nice and i feel like this is the only time of year that you can get away with just wearing a bodysuit out and I'm kind of here for it. I am kind of here for it. And actually, talking of just wearing a bodysuit, that leads me on to my next outfit, which you can probably tell is a tiger. So this is just a mesh long sleeve bodysuit, slightly high neck, and then the back is fully cut out. Um, I don't know if I knew that this was mesh when I ordered this, because originally I was thinking of just wearing this as like the bodysuit, and then having your legs out. You could either wear tights if you wanted to kind of cover up a bit more, um, and then having like sock not socks on like boots on or something but because it's mesh obviously you've got to kind of bear that in mind but if this wasn't mesh just wearing the bodysuit as it is you know what i mean i think that looks so nice and also another idea if you wanted to go as a tiger is it yeah this is a tiger i had a bit of a dumb moment then um just like an all-in-one jumpsuit with a tiger i think would look really good and then off pretty little thing i just got these little tiger ears i think these were literally like three pound look i'm a tiger it's so obvious you know what i mean like it's so easy or if you didn't like that i then have this option so bikini top this is a tiger print again you could wear this like in the summer and stuff it's not just restricted to halloween so you can get quite a lot of wear out of it and actually this looks really nice it looks like a really good quality sort of tiger print in a way and then i thought to go with it let me just chuck the other stuff down i got this which is actually a beach shirt so again wear it in the summer as like a bikini cover up but it's like this tiger print and then i thought wear it as like a shirt dress unbuttoned you've got the bikini top underneath these on you're good to go so there's quite a few ways you can do a tiger it's quite easy same with like a zebra or like loads of other animals and stuff quite cute and stuff and i also have seen quite a lot of really good group outfit like halloween ones so you could do like one as a tiger one as a zebra etc etc um but i'm not talking about group ones today we're just doing solo today baby okay okay next up we have another pretty little thing one this one is definitely one that i'm quite interested to try on and review and this is meant to be like a superhero kind of outfit but it's kind of giving me power ranger vibes again you could do like a group outfit of like all different power rangers um but this is just like a kind of metallic bodysuit it's kind of your classic halloween outfit sort of material feels a little bit cheap but then that is kind of normal for halloween um it's just got this silver zip down it and then we have these like cut out details on the stomach and then just like these sleeves it's metallic um and then the back i think it's quite important like obviously if you're wearing a bodysuit out as like your main thing for halloween bear in mind one if it's a bodysuit if it's got poppers on it that might look a little bit weird but it will make going to the toilet a bit easier two if you're going to wear tights or something underneath it you're not going to really want a thong bodysuit because that's not going to work well the tights so you want to make sure you've got um, like a bodysuit that has a back like this to it i'm just trying to get you the back like that kind of thing if you know what i mean like a normal sort of pants back because otherwise that could sit a bit weirdly so just a few things to bear in mind and then this comes with this pair of sunglasses which are just like these pink metallic ones i'm just trying to actually get this off so you can see okay completely lied they're not metallic i thought they were they just look like that um and then you've got a little superhero outfit obviously you could accessorize a bit more of like arm warmer type things or like headbands and stuff but it's a pretty simple basic one and if you're like running out of ideas for halloween or running out of time pretty little thing next day delivery you can have it delivered the next day and you've got your whole outfit in there this one to me feels exactly like what i would call a halloween costume in the fact that it's very cheap it has a bit of a weird smell to it and i can't put my finger on what it is but yeah it just it's not very comfortable it's not itchy but it's just like yeah it's not very comfortable i don't like how it looks around here i don't think it's very flattering um i feel like the idea is good and if this is a nicer quality it could look really nice but just this actual one not the biggest fan of and then these are the glasses i can't get the plastic off because of the label on it and stuff but that is what the glasses look like and i think it could be a cool outfit but i just don't think it's been very well made and i personally don't really like how it looks on and i'm not a big fan of it but that's that's that so that is the next one also a quick mention the lightsaber that is it lightsaber or lightsaber i'm not sure but anyway this lightsaber that dropped on my foot earlier this is just a little prop idea because when i went to a fancy dress party a couple of years ago i went as darth vader um this isn't the lightsaber that i used because the one that i had actually worked this i think is from when my brothers were younger and it's broken but i found it in the loft the other day when i was looking for something else so i thought i'd just bring it down for this video um i think i got my lightsaber off ebay it wasn't that expensive i bought 
bought a black cape to go with it and then I put on a black jumpsuit and I was looking for my Missy Empire jumpsuit for this outfit a minute ago and I couldn't find it. If I can find it for the try on clips I will try it on, if I can't I won't. But if you're looking for a plain black jumpsuit go to Missy Empire, it is the most flattering jumpsuit, I'm obsessed with it, I will link it down below and it would work for being Darth Vader, it would also work for um quite a lot of things like a ninja anything with a black base and it's so sexy and it's such an, a simple basic that you can build on top of and you could make it into so many different outfits you could wear that same jumpsuit for like three years in a row for halloween but you could be something different every single time if you accessorize it differently and then also you can wear the jumpsuit after halloween because i wear that jumpsuit all the time because i'm obsessed with it so that's a little mention and also a couple years ago when i was at uni for halloween i went as corella deville absolutely obsessed with that it was just a jumpsuit that i got from pretty little thing um you could probably find it on depop it was like half and half like cruella and it was so easy literally just ordered it and that is what i wore covered half my hair in like white hairspray paint white hair paint type thing it was in a can your Corella deville but equally you could do that with like the black jumpsuit and get like a dalmatian print coat i've seen so many different ways to do Corella deville and i absolutely love it and also if you wanted to like why is the telephone ringing bear with also if you wanted to do like it with a boyfriend or something or a friend they could be a dalmatian you could be Cruella de Vil. there we go um another outfit let's move on next up i saw this on pretty little thing and i couldn't re i couldn't resist it is obviously well it might not be obvious but it's quite obvious to me um it's medusa let me just try and pick it up with my toes let's see if i can do this <laughs> So it's this Medusa headband, I think this was literally £3, not gonna lie, it's a lot bigger than I was expecting, I feel like this is just so big, but I'm kind of here for that, and I feel like people are gonna know who you are just with this, and you can kind of wear anything with it, because when I searched Medusa, some people wore like gold dresses, some people wore green dresses, so I think to be honest you've got like quite a flexible leeway with this headband, and this green dress I got is just from Zara, um, just a simple little kind of cami type dress and then chuck this on but i have seen people go with like really long kind of maxi dresses as medusa and i think that looks really good so it's quite an easy one to do like i said it's quite obvious to know what you are oh we're a bit tangled here um it's quite obvious to know what you are with your snake sort of headband doesn't look like the most comfortable thing to be honest but you could probably take it off halfway through the night um and then like i said green or gold dress you could get them from anywhere i just thought i'd get this zara one as an example and you're sorted, you Medusa, we love it. <laughs> I'm not sure who this headband was made for, but if you look at it on my head, it fits for about two seconds, and then it just like kind of gets smaller and smaller and then just pings off my head. Like, look, it's starting to do it now, I can feel it, and in about two seconds, this is just gonna have fallen off my head. So I don't really know like what size head shape this was made for, but it definitely wasn't made for mine. I do have a fairly big head, but I wouldn't say it's abnormally large. So like, just bear that in mind with this, it's incredibly small and it doesn't fit properly. The dress, however, is all right, just a simple basic Zara dress. And then I'd probably put this with gold heels if you were going somewhere with heels, like that you'd wear heels to, or white trainers or something. I don't know, but this is way too small. And then finally, we have this, which is quite an iconic one. Again, good for a group outfit, because you might sort of be able to tell where I'm going with this. I'm thinking Britney Spears, so you could do like a group outfit where you like dress up as different forms of Britney. I've seen that quite a lot and it looks really good. But this is like the classic Britney kind of red vinyl jumpsuit sort of vibe. So you want to do like your hair sort of like combed over like Britney has in that music video. Um, and I feel like everyone would know who, like who you've gone as, especially if you went like, especially if you're blonde um, or like a similar hair color to what Britney was in that video, then people would be able to tell. Not gonna lie, does smell quite fishy but it's just that classic like pvc vinyl type of smell um but it just looks like so just this really long vinyl jumpsuit and then on the back it's got this cut out i got this one in a size six which is my normal size so you'll be able to see in the trunk clips how like well it fits and whether it's flattering or not because i'm not sure it's not very stretchy so it might sort of be a bit gapy in some bits and then a bit tight in others i'm not too sure but we shall see but when i saw it in pretty little thing i couldn't resist i had to give it a go because it's britney spears after all do you know what i mean i was so close to managing to get this one on but i've fallen at like getting it over my arm it's just because it's obviously like a latex material it is just so tight but you obviously want it to be tight because when you've got it on you kind of want to look do you know what I mean? You want it to be all smooth and everything. You don't want any creases. And if it was big, it would have creases. So you want it tight, but you don't want it too tight that you can't get it on. So it's a little bit of a tricky one. 
but from what I can see of what I've actually managed to get on, I don't actually think it looks too bad. Like, the legs fit nice and tight, which like I said is what you want. They are a little bit too long for me, like there is some ruching at the bottom, and I'm 5'5", five five, so just bear that in mind. And then the back just looks like this. You would have like an open back here as well once you've actually got the jumpsuit on because it's got a cut out on the back. But I can't get it on enough to show you it. But this is this is as much as I can show you sort of thing. I feel like there is potential there but maybe size up with it because otherwise it's going to take you about two hours to be able to get it on. So that, like I said, is the last outfit for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you've got some inspiration for your Halloween outfits. I will link everything down below for the components and also if I see any other things for Halloween outfits that I think would be really good, I'll also pop them down below so there might be some additional ones in the description box. But yeah, I hope you all have an amazing Halloween. I know it's still like a couple of weeks away but I wanted to get this up so you had ideas and stuff. But anyway, a little advance. I hope you have a lovely Halloween. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram so you can see what I get up to on Halloween because I'll be posting on my stories I'm sure and I shall see you at some point soon in another video. Bye!